We come to the close of our press statement day. We would like to directly address His Excellency, the President Uru Kenyatta, the President of the Republic of Kenya. Chinua Achebe said, a chick that grows to a hand is seen on the day it hatches. The misery and secrecy through which handshake was formed is the reason today we don't have a hand, but we have a monster called BBI, which seeks to rip off fa further impoverished, already poor Kenyans through expansion of legislature and executive. The expansion of the increase of 180 members of parliament will couple around three, 3 billion annually. Mr. President, instead of going around the country and lying to poor Kenyans and desperate Kenyans that BBI will add bursary allocations, can you work within the legal framework and establish 3 billion bursary kitty, bursary kitty that will cater for those poor Kenyans? Mr. President, there, is no, there can never be constitutionalism without a respect, respect to, the, to the rule of law. You cannot pursue changes to the Constitution while you are overseeing the return of detention without trial. Mr. President, you cannot pursue changes to the Constitution while you are persecuting your political opponents using the police, the DCI, the ESCC, and the KRA. You are excellent. You cannot pursue constitutional changes while you have disregarded more than 60 court orders, including 37 that ordered the return of the comrade Miguna Miguna. Mr. President, you cannot pursue constitutional changes while you have seriously interfered with the independence of the constitutional officers in this country, including the National Police Service, the ESCC, the ODPP, and the judiciary, which, apart from your refusal to appoint 40, 40 remaining judges, you have went ahead, you seek to further interfere with the independence of the judiciary in the BBI by introducing a judiciary prefect in the name of Judiciary Ombudsman. We are telling you today, Your Excellency, as young people of this country, there is no constitutional moment the proposed changes to the Constitution in BPI are in Congress, egregious, deceitful, and selfish. We will not allow you, as the young people of this country, to rep the Constitution, to mutilate the Constitution with the assistance of your brother, Aila Odinga. Your Excellency, on March 9, 2018, you told this country with your brother, Aila Odinga, that you cannot be leaders under whose watch the country degenerated into a failed state. Mr. President, we are telling you today, as the young people of this country, we cannot be patriots under whose watch the country was led into our own political directions. As young people in this country, we are standing up for the country and standing up for ourselves. We are cognizant and we are aware of the enticements we have used in the BBI, like for the young people, like the four-year help moratorium, the seven-year tax holiday, the National Youth Commission, in an attempt to bait the young people to support the BBI nonsense. We are telling you today, Your Excellency, we welcome the enticements, we welcome the four-year moratorium, we welcome the seven-year tax holiday, but we cannot fall for your deceitful attempt to disturb and usurp the current constitutional order, which was fought through blood of the many people of this country. We have good news for you, Your Excellency. Instead, we don't, you don't need 14 billion Kenya shillings referendum to implement the four-year loan reprieve for the education loans of this country. You don't need to spend 14 billion, Your Excellency, to give the young people of this country who are very disparate the seven-year tax holiday. Instead, Your Excellency, we are recommending to you here today that instead of using expand that 14 billion, can you appropriate the 14 billion to Youth Enterprise Development Fund to facilitate young people to register businesses, and so that they enjoy the envisaged seven-year tax holiday. So, Mr. President, we are categorically saying we, as the young people of this country, BBI must. Fall. BBI must. Fall. BBI must. Fall. Thank you. BBI. Thank you so much. Comrades power. Power. Comrades power. Power. You cannot pick pocket a naked man. I want to declare today that these comrades here who are standing behind me and all those who are walking in those three thousand there, they are naked. 
They do not have any money. And what are you bringing to them? Sign BBI signatures. What are the priorities in this country? Where are they? We want to announce without any fear of contradiction, without any fear of contradiction, to declare to the young, the old, the women, the men, everybody who is working within the jurisdictions of this country, that your future is at stake. The moment they touch a youth who is in the higher education sector, know that the whole country is going down the drain. We cannot accept a situation whereby you are tripling, not even doubling, the school fees meant for university education. Just when me and my friends here and those in Kusa and those all other youth initiatives, we were pushing for a free higher education learning. And then here you are telling us that you will triple that amount. That is very shameful, that is unheard of, and that will not be tolerated. 